What is going on, YouTube? What is going on, collectors? Welcome to my first episode of Comic Cards Checklist. And I'm just starting off uh, with a whole bunch of cards that are promos for magazines. Um, it's a whole bunch of, of cards, but I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel and, you know, I just haven't gotten time to do anything. But uh, hopefully this first episode uh, with the promos, hopefully it attracts some people to uh, check out my channel. Um, pretty soon I'll be starting a Instagram and Facebook to go along with this channel. Hopefully you guys could su subscribe. Um, so yeah. And without further ado, let's go check out some promo cards. <clears throat> so this first up here is, uh, I think 2003, I don't even know. Oh, 90, 1997. Uh, Marvel Superheroes pop-up game. Uh, I don't know where I got this, but it was on eBay and it was a pop-up and it was like rare. So I just bought it. I don't know exactly where you get it from, but here we are. Here is a X-Men. Um, it's part of a, a set actually that came from Japan. It's, uh, I think the manufacturer is Meiji and it came in, I think 19, let me see, 1994. And it's a pretty cool pog, I guess. But um, you don't really see see it that much here, so I have no clue what they are. But I wanted to buy it because uh, if you guys are not familiar, this is a from the nineteen ninety two X Men. So, the same exact art from Jim Lee, I think. So yeah, and someone had it and I just bought it. But anyway, let's get to the promos. Uh, it just happened to be on this binder, which I keep a lot of uh, collections or sets. Mostly, uh, you know, if they're related together. But this for this episode, it'll be promos, mostly uh, Marvel. I have a whole bunch of other binders, but... We'll just go with this one first. So the first one we have is the 38th anniversary Amazing Spider-Man. And I think you get this in a cello pack. I don't remember how. Um, this is just a cutout of a hologram in one of the comic books. Uh, I had an extra and I didn't want I didn't know what to do with it. So I just took it apart. Um, next one is a... Let's see. I don't really know. I forgot what year this is. Uh, 1994. Pretty much, uh, you would get these from Cookie Crisp. And I believe there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 of them. But I believe 8. Correct me if I'm wrong. In the... In the chat or message below but I think eight of them uh, you could get from the package and then the other four might be a uh, redemption where you have to mail in a certain amount so that you could uh, get the complete set so I know like four of them are rare but I forgot I bought them as a set so I don't know which is which now uh, next one is the spider-man timeline it's a uh, set of 24 cards uh i think this was from a uh, promo from welch um i believe you could get this as a whole set as a redemption thing again and i think you also get like a couple of cards when you buy like a box or something but here is the whole 24 card set I just realized this is actually looks like the power blast from from the 1994 Marvel Universe. 
Here I have a Hulk versus a set of cards. I don't have three. I believe there's four. I don't know. I haven't found any information on them. And every time like I see a pack on eBay, it goes by quick. So I haven't seen one ever since. And it's been like three years. Here we have a promo from Kool-Aid, I believe. And it's, it's just six cards. I think it's called the First Encounter. Uh, that's the back. Next one is uh, this set is pretty much um, inserts from a comic book. It, it was the Executioner song, and there's twelve of these. I believe each comic book has its own specific card. But I can't remember. But I, I do have the whole, all 12 of the comic book with the inserts on it. But I just have this set as my, you know, to display. And then the next set we have is Hulk. That came out, I think. I can't remember. It's hard to, there's so many cards, it's hard to go on the top of my head. This one came out in 1979. And, uh, I forgot who did this. I believe it was, oh, that's right. These are Drake Cakes. And it was, it was a promo when you buy, I guess, a bakery. So this is the whole 24 card set. Luckily it's numbered in the front. Then we have a flavor ice set, which is, uh, I have a five card set, but I think the other two are somewhere in the back. So we'll get to that later. But yeah, I think this came out in 2003 and it came along with like other whole, a lot of whole card sets actually came out that year. So, but this is the flavor ice promo. Here's one of my favorite set from a food distributor. This one is from Chef Boyardee. It's the four card villain set, which actually I really love these holograms because they look really good, you know? The next two are, I think 1993 X-Men from Pizza Hut. It's just uh, two cards. Then we have a Toy Biz promo. Which is Sasquatch, North Star, Aurora, and Snowbird. So it's pretty much, uh, you get each one of these cards from their respective uh, characters. And you know, each one of them had these lenticular 3D cards. Next set we have is the Got Milk promotion. And I believe this came out in 97. Hold on, let me check. Um, or, sorry, 1995. And this, these came in packs and I forgot how you get some of these cards, but as most of these cards, I bought them as sets. I don't really, I only started collecting three years ago, so a lot of these are pretty new to me. But here you have the the nine cards. And I also have the uncut versions, which has these in the middle. I uh, kind of cut them out because I thought they looked cool. And then I have a hologram set of... Um, I think it was Fatal Attractions, the comic book set. I can't remember, but there's six of them. Here we have a cable. Yeah, I got all of these from the comic book because I had extras and uh, I thought it was just easier to keep it. But yeah, I took them out, pretty much just ripped them out. So yeah, Gambit, Havoc. 
Magneto, Nightcrawler, and Wolverine. Pretty good looking cards. I do love the holograms. Next set we have is the Crunch and Munch, I believe, it, which uh, came out in 1993. And they came with, I guess, a Crunch and Munch and a card. So this is the whole set, six cards. There's two series. series. This is the first one. And with Cage, Hulk, Spider-Man, Storm, Wolverine, and then you have all the superheroes. And then you have Cable, Cyclops, Gambit, Jean Grey, Spider-Man, Wolverine for the second series. Series. And I can't pronounce words. Um, also for Wolverine, I believe there's a yellow background. I have it somewhere here, but I can't remember. I'm just... I'm trying to make this video short for you guys so you know I'm just going through everything and everything is not arranged properly uh, but uh, hopefully in later episodes you know I'll be this is just my first episode and I don't, I don't really know how to do things yet but hopefully uh, I'll grow we'll all grow together and I could provide you guys with better information but the next set we have is the Roy Rogers or Hardys. There's actually two headers like this. You could get the Roy Rogers one or the Hardys version. This one is the Roy Rogers. I believe the Hardys is black in color. I have it somewhere here, but yeah, here it is. Well, this, this one is from the Pog promo. And I believe, yeah, this one is the the black one for the cards so this set is the time gliders i think it was in 1995 and pretty much it's just these characters you have cyclops versus what the heck is that i can't remember um commando uh i don't think i'm familiar with him wolverine versus blob rogue versus um i forgot his name oh avalanche and Storm versus Phantasm? Phantasma? Phantasm or something like that. And then you have Beast writing something. But yeah, these are the five cards that you could get as Roy Rogers or Hardy's. And it comes in a cello pack. Solo pack. Cellophane pack. There's another one. I think that also came. I'm not sure how I got it, but it's slightly smaller than the other set but it's the same characters with fighting each other with different arts um next promo we have is from universal studios i think they came out in 1999 it's hard to keep track of all the years but yeah you got um they're pretty good looking cards you got the head profile Spider-Man, Hulk, Captain America thing, and Doctor Doom. Next set is The Real Heroes. This came out of comic books. I believe in 93. I want to say 93. But, uh, it, you know, it's like prevents substance abuse, community service, environment. Stuff like that. Um, I think it was in the comic books titled Real Heroes or some, something like that. But yeah, but it's a four card set. Each each comic book has a random card that goes with it and this is the whole set. Here is the Flavor Ice Spider-Man version of what we saw earlier. The earlier one was Hulk. This one is the Spider-Man version. But I think this came out earlier because it's 2002. The Hulk set was at 2003. But I still have it incomplete because I still need the the sorry you did not win a card. I want to have that as my header. So I still have like an incomplete set. Then we have these Marvel Live and In Person. I'm missing one card. I think there's a card that's like 
um, it's colored. It's like blue throughout the whole thing. I don't know. I just have to show it at a later episode. But I... So these cards were given out in, I think, Universal Studios? I can't remember. Um, I can't remember. But it was a promo where you get this card and like an actor, like a Spider-Man in a costume or someone in a Spider-Man costume would sign it like Spider-Man. So I kind of wanted, you know, just without any autograph or anything because... Any, anyone could just write like Spider-Man or whatever. But uh, yeah, this is the, like, the Marvel Live and In-Person set. Then we have another Toy Biz. I think it's Toy Biz um, production. Uh, these are the Spider-Man classics. But it's lenticular 3D. And it has... Uh, let's see, Spider-Man and... Hobgoblin? Is that two pictures or three? I don't know. But yeah, it's it's pretty cool. You get one per one of these cards per pack. And I believe they the characters that you get is also the same exact toys that you get. So this one would have a lizard and versus Spider-Man and this one would have is that anti-venom and carnage? Next set we have is the Ziploc, and this set is Marvel Team Ups, Hulk and Thing, the Thing, Iron Man and Captain America, Spider Man and Wolverine. It's a three card set. Oh, there's a two cards I was for the Hulk flavor ice. <laughs> Here we have uh, Universal Studios, Florida promo cards <clears throat> and it came out in 94 uh the other ones came out in 95 but i think this is all the universal studios card that they had so 93 94 and 95 i believe yeah 95 so th these two are the same they look like they're the same card, but the back is different. So up next is we have the Purdue Marvel Purdue set, which came out in 2008, I wanna say. Um nope, I was wrong. 2002. So I actually like this set. Um it came four in a pack. And usually it's the same four. Like let's say it would be uh, B, Cyclops, Iceman, and actually I don't remember that happening. I think it was Human Torch. I don't know any any four, but they're they're a set four. So whichever pack you get, there's only four different types, and with all of that, you could get the whole set. And I I was actually lucky enough to buy four packs and those four packs were all the different ones and I was like oh my god but yeah you have it's a 9 10 11 12 13 14 15, 16 cards and you have the header which comes in every pack which I consider a 17 card or yeah 17 card set Next set we have is the Ultimate Avengers. So this set came out in 2006. And to get these, these were Best Buy exclusive. And you had to buy the DVD for Ultimate Avengers 1 and Ultimate Avengers 2. So you get these four, first four cards with Ultimate Avengers 1. And you get these four cards with Ultimate Avengers 2. And they gotta be the Best Buy exclusive. Otherwise, uh, they don't. you don't get these cards. Uh, this next set is, I believe, one of the harder sets to get. Because it came out in 1993, I believe. 
1993. And in order for you to get one of these cards, you would need to buy a watch. And at the time, that watch cost $75. But you get one of these cards, the watch, and it has like a fancy case to it. But, but yeah, you, there's six different kinds and you get one of each of this card to complete the set. Uh, the next sets I have uh, came from Marvel Quarterly, and it's just a bunch of cutouts from that. This, these were the insert cards inside them, and I thought they looked pretty cool. So, um, not really a fan of sports cards, but they had them where they're posing the same exact ways because a lot of Comic cards, copy, sports cards, anyway. Um, there's, like, newer sets that has, like, Deadpool doing, like, sports ball. Or uh, even the Marvel Retro has a lot of subsets that are, uh, you know, sports card inspired. But, yeah, here are just some of them. And, yeah, they look. They look pretty good, but the back is, uh, which is, you know, the, the cover of the magazine. Next promo set we have is the Spider-Man Acclaim set. Um, I forgot how I acquired these. Or I forgot how they were acquired, but of course I bought it on eBay, so. Um, yeah, I can't remember. But I believe you get these from buying the game. I'm not sure, but I got the whole set because I bought it as a set. So here, the the next set we have is this promo card from Toy Biz again, and this one is for um I forgot what kind of pocket toys or pocket comics. I forgot what they're called, but. Each one has a theme, like this one is Asteroid M, this one is the Danger Room. So pretty much you'll have a room and then you'll have like little toys that would do stuff in that room. And there's uh, these four are Series 1 and then these two, these four are Series 2. And then you also have a Spider-Man set, which is... Um, not here. It's, it's somewhere in these pages, but I guess we'll move on. Um, the next set we have is the Hunt for Magneto contest. Um, so pretty much these are inserts you would find in comic books. Uh, there's a list of them. I believe there's like, I don't remember. I have to like check exactly but i think there's around 20 and so each one has a uh it's a triple card so you would have one of these one of these and let me see if i can find the middle card uh, it's it's somewhere here but oh here it is it's three cards which would be connected together so you have this in the all the way on the left this in the middle and then one of these cards. So pretty much it's a contest. You uh, scratch this off and you could win something. But each one of them had a clue. So there's, I think, seven total total clues. But yeah, um, there's 14 cards total, I believe. I don't remember. But here are prototypes. And... Yeah, the first three I have are prototypes, which I think you get it in certain comics, but I don't remember where, but for the sake of this video and not to go too long, I'll just show you and provide you more information later. But yeah, here's uh, one through card one, one through nine. And I believe after 12 or 14, I don't remember. Uh, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so the first 12 you could get in comic books. And then the last six cards, which are these, are redemption cards. 
So pretty much you can't obtain these from buying um, comic books. You have to redeem them. And I was fortunate enough to have this set because I don't think a lot of I don't think there's a lot of these going on on eBay. But here are some uh, cards that are uncut or that were cut. But these cards came from uh, Keepsakes, I believe, and they come in six. So this was the X-Force Keepsake. And then this bottom one was the X-Men Keepsake, the Ghost Rider. Uh, here's the rest of the Spider-Man from earlier. Oh, here's the Wolverine I was trying to talk about earlier too, but it has a red instead of a yellow, I believe. Hold on, let me check. Uh, I don't know. Never mind. Uh, uh, we have some X-Men Legends PlayStation promo cards. I don't know how many there are to the set. I believe there's five, but I can't find any information. There's these Marvel UK. These were cards that was in comic books in the Marvel UK edition. Um, I forgot exactly what titles there are, but there's, I think this is the first, um, the first set that came out. And then the second set had these which were Spider-Man theme. Uh, and yeah, they continued. So this is numbered one through 12. And then, yeah, he, he got 13 to 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 to 24. And then that last part, um, I'll put it over somewhere, but I guess the next card we have are the Midnight Suns promotion. So this was a comic book set and this is just a promo. So pretty much it's it's just a checklist of the of the comic books. And here you have uh these were actually a three card panel, but I cut them up because I like having cards that you know stack store in nine. But each panel is of course uh like a card to one of the characters in there. Uh, this is the final set for the Marvel UK uh, over, Overkill. Or, yeah, Overkill. And it, you're supposed to wear like 3D glasses so you can see this, I guess, the way intended. But, um, I don't know if it's rare, but I haven't seen it. Uh, I think this is from Marvel 3D. Uh, just some of the cards I have, but I don't. I don't have the whole set. I don't. I'm thinking of collecting it later. But I just these, this the art here were from the, I believe 2016 Marvel masterpieces. So I like them. Here we have the Heroes Reborn promo, and I actually just bought the comic books, but. Each one of the, they have a trading card variant com cover, and it has all of these. And I just read up on it, actually. So, apparently, in that world, the Avengers never came to be, because Thor was a drunk. Captain America never thought out in ice. Um, Iron Man was still, like, a arms dealer. And they had, like, a whole new bunch of heroes, and these were some of the characters in there, so... But I don't know. They they ripped off like like Power Princess looks like Wonder Woman. Blur looks like the Flash. Um, but these are Marvel characters, so I don't know. Maybe you gotta read the comic or something. But next set we have are the Nerds uh, promo cards. I think these were like inserted in the back of Nerds cards. And there's eight to the set. And this don't look right. 
So I think this panel, this one's supposed to go here and then uh, I don't remember how it's arranged, but we're running out of time. It's it's 30 minutes and I'm not even done with the binder, so we'll just keep going. But yeah, this is the 1995 set. Here is the set uh, 1996. It's the Marvel Games 1, but they never made it too. So it's also an 8 card set. We have a X-Men sticker here from Smello Mello, which are, I don't know, I've always liked the 1993 X-Men looks, so kept them here. Uh, I think the rest are mostly insert or checklist for comic books. So we have the Marvel Annuals, which was in 19... 92 and more promos in 93 it's kind of hard to sell but yeah um i guess i could always provide more information later when i'm not trying to cram like all of these information and to show you guys the cards you know um here are the 1993 Marvel Annuals. So again, you could find these in certain comic books. And I believe it's random per comic book. Like you don't get a certain character. It's You just get like a random character per the comic book. But there's a list out there. I have it, but you know. Um, there's 27 of them. So this would be the whole set. Uh... And then more checklist promo. Spider-Man, Blood Ties, Blood and Thunder, X-Men, Generation X. They're all uh, miniature sizes. They're a little bit smaller, but... Um, next one is the... I believe there's... These were cards inside the 1994 X-Men Flare Ultra promo packs i can't remember but there's i mean you get like a random one but there's information so you have like a card one two three four and five and yeah i forgot i forgot the rest uh more random cards that are not a set um here we have marvel Silver Age and Modern, which came out of Toy Biz also. And I'm trying to get, there's four per set. So there's four for the Silver Age and four for the, I believe, Golden Modern Age. And then a Golden Age. I think there's 12 of them total, but I've been trying to buy an eBay, but it's so expensive. It's like 20 bucks minimum per toy. So I didn't want to spend that much per card. Um, here you have the X-Men Radio Shack cards it's a set of four that came with uh i think a, a car a zip car or something like that i never had it so i bought these as a set as well everything i bought on ebay so um so these following next cards are from johnny lightning and i was trying to collect the whole set but I realized I shouldn't have taken it out of the packs because now I just have car, these cards and then some loose cars. But I started keeping them as a set. So I actually have them in packs now. But these are the cards I got initially. And they're not bad looking cards. They're mostly like major, you know, comic book titles as well. Like, uh, like exactly pictured there <laughs> um they're blank in the back and yeah they, i guess this is one of the more famous covers um what else we got oh we got the combo combo man uh set which is like the weirdest mutant i don't even know if he's a mutant because each section is supposed to be like a marvel character but he uh, yeah, I don't know how his powers work. Cause, um, 
if you ask me, I guess his weak spot would be like the Punisher side, because <laughs> I mean, Punisher is just a normal human. He's he's got like Silver Surfer legs and uh, uh, what is that like Luke Cage uh, abs? I don't I don't know, but the Luke Cage abs should be like bulletproof. He's got a Cyclops visor. His his the top of his head should be really strong because it's Hulk's. Um, yeah, he's just a weird amalgamation of characters. Um, but it is kind of cool because uh, they show you like each character here that, you know, represents what. But, but yeah. Um, uh, here are some more stuff. And yeah, let's end this video because it's 35 minutes long and it's my first episode. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll be sure to bring a lot more content because uh, this is just one of my binders, which is just my promo binder. But I do have a collection of cards, mostly Marvel and DC, but... I would like to show them off uh, eventually. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and press that like button. And hopefully follow me in my Instagram or Facebook. And hope to see you guys soon. Happy collecting. Bye.